right, hello wine drinking people. Germany, part three, coming up. And uh, this is a new producer here for us, Whitman. And uh, people really like these wines, let me tell you. All organically produced, even the stuff they buy for this 100 Hills label, the growers they work with, they wanna make sure they have the same goals and aspirations as they do in the vineyards. So their properties are all biodynamic, but they demand that the growers they work with are at minimum organic. So uh, all of these wines, like I said, the rosé, we started out this Trauken rosé, a blend of Spatburgunder, which is Pinot Noir, and St. Lawrence, an indigenous varietal, the Germany and Austria. This wine's got a beautiful nose of watermelon, raspberry fruit, a hint of peppery spice and floral notes. Nice briny character to that red berry fruit showing through on the tongue, leaving you salivating for food and a nice touch of spice at the end. Very good juice at 23.50. Like I said, a real crowd pleaser. The Spatburgunder, which um, I prefer just... Pinot Noir. Uh, this is a good amount of dark cherry fruit, that dark spice, black truffles, really nice intensity and complexity on the nose here. A big and chewy Pinot on the palate, loads of that spice and dark earth, some tannins here at the end, but silky smooth velvety and a uh, nice hand of acidity holding things in place. A lot of dark spice on the finish. Excellent juice at $37.50. You're starting to see some very good Pinots, most of them from Baden, but this one from the Fouts. And um, excellent juice. All right, and then we've got uh, 100 Hills. This is their label that they uh, purchased some of the fruit. And the, this Pinot Blanc and the Riesling, both really nice, fresh wines. Uh, the Pinot Blanc, good amount of white tree fruits, some lime citrus, some white floral notes, a hint of that briny minerality showing at the end. Very fresh and clean. The Riesling, also a fresh and clean style with peach and savory pink grapefruit showing a little bit of flinty minerally notes here as well. A nice zest to the palate, that white peach and melon fruit shown. Uh, and, and just begging for another glass or something to eat, some goat cheese. All right, and then the Morstein Gigi. Wow, man, these Grand Cru wines, totally at another level. Just an intoxicating bouquet of crushed rock, lime blossom, white peach, green melon, lovely concentration and complexity. These wines need to be decanted. That's right, Riesling, highly resistant to oxidization. One of the whites that needs oxygen and needs decantering. You should always decanter young Rieslings. This wine will last 20 or 30 years. Easy, a dizzying array of tart fruits on the palate, lime zest, white flowers, creamy minerality here, really long layered finish, most excellent juice as it should be for a hundred dollars. That's what we had to drink with our new friends from Whitman. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.